So uh, here's something that I wanted to show, just kind of fun. Been playing with this evening, um, just released from Apple, and it's a great demonstration. Well, it's not meant to be a demonstration; it's a real thing, but a great way of demonstrating something called um, gestural interfaces, which is just a different way of interacting with stuff. So I've got my big, well, not that big, 32-inch uh, uh, LCD screen here, which is plugged into um, a trusty Apple TV, which I've had for ages. Little tiny thing. Uh, HDMI interface out into the screen. It's got a built-in hard drive, Wi-Fi, and uh, will take music and video from your iTunes uh, and stream that onto the TV. So that's kind of one of my bridge devices, which I like. For a long time, there's been a remote control app for the iPod Touch and the iPhone to let you control Apple TV, so you can kind of sit down and, and have a remote, which is a bit of a better remote than the, the kind of standard thing. However, the new version of the app has a gestural interface. Best way for me to show you is to kind of come around and you hold the iPod Touch, as it were. So we'll leave the screen behind us and we'll just kind of zoom in and look at this guy here. So just a standard iPod Touch. It's got a Wi-Fi connection onto the network. This is the app. It's kind of nice, not quite haptics, but visual version yeah, when I t touch on something you can see it there but you'll notice that there's no menu items going off here it's just a big touch area and the iPod touch has a touch screen now when I move my thumb up and down here you can probably just see in the background if we kind of flip back and look at the Apple TV a second as I move up and down that moves up and down there and I can go back to the menu if I do other gestures like um, instead of just going up and down I basically do a throw, if you like, just pushing off and pushing down. You can see that that moves me from the top of the menu to the bottom. So it's kind of a very different idea just to, to clicking buttons. I can start to use gestures to control things. If I want to choose something, uh, like here I'm just going to go and choose my music, I can just tap on the screen there and it will dive into my music. And away we go. And if I go we we'll go compilations here. One of the other things that you can do, just using some very simple gestures, and there are simple gestures here. Scroll down, I'm going to choose, oh, there we go, Aces and Kings, best to go west, bit of uh, 80s for you. If I start to play some tracks, I can skip through the track by sliding along, and if I want to jump tracks, I just flick off to the side, and that'll take me to the next track, as you can probably watch that changing there. I can do the same thing again and likewise I can skip back by moving my thumb the other way and jump back to the menu again and then scroll up and down or again throw all the way down to the bottom or all the way up to the top. Ah, there we go, I can't forget my thumb in the right place anyway. So interesting, you know, a kind of sumo version of Gestural interfaces, I think they're, they're great. It's a very different way of interacting with things, a lot more intuitive than trying to find the button that you want to press. There are more sophisticated versions of this around, and there's um, third-party software you can get for PCs, which will use mouse gestures. I like the idea of uh, being able to use fingers, so hopefully this is the beginning of some new, cool, neat stuff from Apple and a much better way of interacting with the technology that's around this. It's a bit more human, a bit more natural, uh, and more intuitive as well. So... Thank you for that, Apple. Nice new toy.